Hello friends, Running Kimono here, and I don't like making two videos back to back of bad news at the stores, but uh, here's another one. So over at Walmart, um, there's been a lot of people in the comments of my videos are sending me messages saying that they bought something and they're not getting the overage anymore and like what's going on. Okay, so what is coupon overage? Uh, let's give you a quick example. Say you have a product that's a dollar and you have a $2 manufacturer coupon. At self-checkout, you can scan that product and then scan something else to grab the overage because your overage can't be at zero. They're not gonna pay you the money. And uh, essentially what's gonna happen, guys, is um, your dollar product is free with the manufacturer, plus you get a dollar of overage that can be applied to other items in the basket. And this complaint that I've been hearing is specifically at self-checkout. So if you have like, say a really good clearance item with a manufacturer coupon, that's gonna give you a couple of bucks of overage, an employee will be instructed right away to come over to read the coupon, possibly call up a manager and do the Spanish inquisition of your coupons. And a lot of people are being told um, at self-checkout uh, that, they can't take that coupon on clearance items and that is super uber frustrating. So if your Walmart has done this update, you are getting this message at self-checkout and it's probably gonna happen at all the stores. Um, so again, this is happening at self-checkout. So I, I know most of you know what that is, um, where a cashier or manager will have to approve the coupon and like put their glasses on and read it. Um, and there's an error message that's kicking up like too few items sold or whatever, they're seeing something and immediately it causes like a little bit of a panic. Um, and some stores, they, they will flat out tell you that they can't give you the overage, um, which is interesting because I did look up the coupon policy today and it's saying something a little different than that. So it really is at the discrepancy of who's in front of you and if they will take your coupons or not. That's what we're at right now. However, if you go to a regular lane with a cashier in front of you, um, the coupons scan perfectly there if a cashier is scanning them for you and the overage will work. Now I can only give you guys an example because I don't really go look for clearance stuff with coupons as of recently. I haven't done that probably the last year. I just, I've run out of time actually. But I did use a $15 Nicorette coupon and I did go to a lane with a cashier because I knew at self-checkout that would be like laughable to use a $15 coupon at self-checkout. So I went to a regular lane, used my $15 coupon, you know, it was the beginning of the year and there was some sort of deal to get some cheap Nicorette. And uh, it asked for a manager with a key to come over, look at it and then turn the key at the cash. That's like old fashioned stuff. Um, so that's what I've noticed. Um, any coupon over $5 at self-checkout requires a manager to look at it. That's what I've also noticed too. But like very high value coupons such as that Nicorette one, it was a, a turnkey thing, which is like old school couponing. So I would definitely go through a regular lane and make sure that, you know, your coupons are like, you know, you're following them to the T or the science or whatever. Um, but this idea of going to self-checkout and just using a whole bunch of coupons, that's just not going to happen anymore. Um, even if you use more than five, it'll get the manager or, you know, a supervisor over to look at, see what you're doing. And um, yeah, I think Walmart, um, who knows if overage will be a thing of the past uh, by the end of the year. We just do not know. Guys, if you go to this website, it's actually on the Walmart uh, site, but to look up all of their policies, it's corporate period walmart.com slash policies. Uh, you can find this on the Walmart website or you could type this in or type in Walmart coupon policy and then boom, that's where it'll be. They have their guideline for coupons uh, usage and so on and so forth on their website. Um, you could pull this up on your phone or print it out, whatever you want to do, throw it in your coupon binder perhaps. Okay, so if you read the blue highlighted uh, sentence here, and this is in their coupon policy, and I looked this up on Thursday, the 17th of March, 2020, two, <laughs> uh, it says the coupon value will be applied to the price of an item following any overage to be applied to the transaction total. Ugh, it's so badly written. But what that means, that example that we were using, you have like a dollar product and you have a $2 coupon, that's a dollar of overage. So if you have a basket of groceries or whatever else you're buying, cat food, that dollar will be applied to whatever else you're buying. They will not give you like cash 
but it, w it will be applied to the rest of your basket. So hopefully that's crystal clear. So um, if you have a bunch of items that are kicking back really crazy overage, go through a regular line. Do not go through self-checkout because a lot of people are having a lot of issues. And this is reported across the board. Um, a lot of people are talking about this right now. Um, I have not done a lot of overage deals um, at Walmart probably last year. I mean, I stopped. I really stopped. And I haven't been doing a lot of Ibotta shopping over there either. So they kind of play hand in hand. And honestly, I find it a little easier to use like rebates like Ibotta or even the coupons.com app um, than using regular coupons there because sometimes it can be a less than a uh, fun experience, especially if you have an employee that's not really sure about the coupon policy. Uh, but good luck with this one, guys, and definitely throw this in your back pocket. We'll catch you in the next one.